Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Let's get back to it. I don't know if any of that footage will make it, depending on how long this video is, but. Sometimes just translating through what's going on on AliExpress and how they're measuring and weighing stuff can be like, well, which one do I get? So, oh boy, that looks juicy. Yeah, this. If I was on any other body of water, I'll be honest, I'd probably be still throwing top water. But this place and me are notorious for not doing as well on top water as we do at Chatterbait. And it just could be a confidence thing. But as you can see, just in a little time I've been throwing Chatterbaits. Compared to the top water, I don't know how much that footage made it, but trust me. Way better doing this. Mm, they're all jumpers. We're going to actually try this, dude. They're, so far, everything's jumping. I started just tossing back, but they're all jumpers. So let me take a little time. Just see if we can get this dude. I'm going to try to keep this boat rolling. We're going to try to get this dude right here to jump over this fishing pole that just caught him. Let's see if we got any train. Go on, dude. You want to jump? He's going to jump. You want to jump? There you go, there you go, there you go! Woo! Scott Martin, good luck, buddy. Can't stop the rooster, let's go! Yeah, our, our releases are legit, right? Sure they are! Let's get it. I'm all spun around, all these bass are jumping today. They're little, we haven't caught anything big, but they're fun. Uh, we'll catch them on our stoutest rod we have. I may switch to a little bit lighter rod to give it a shot, but. No giants. These are Mike Iconelli giants and that are jumpers. Right there, we see where, oh that I need to get a, I think that's a little bump right there. I think I need to get just a little tighter into that grass with these. Boom, boom, boom. What'd you say, Frog? Just a little tighter. Just a little bit more. I kind of want to try this other bait too. You did catch a fish though. You got to watch these. It's the only downside so far I've seen to these. Uh, I love these so far as trailers, but they will flip around and kind of hook themselves on the, the hook. I knew if I could get a little closer. I'm grunting and groaning with this rod, but which that kind of does that too. Sometimes the longer rod you got actually is harder on you. Man, I... What's the record for my jumpers? Let's just see. I know, I'm taking way too much time because I got to keep the boat from going in and all that kind of stuff, but... Man, they just all keep jumping, right? I'm going to try to hold my foot on the trolling motor. This is kind of hard to do. If you can see, I got my foot over here on the troll motor. I'm leaning over to keep the boat out away from the deal. Oh, oh, yeah! To keep our streak going on these jumpers. These dudes, they're legit. They're legit jumping today. They are on fire. They are the littlest Mike Iconelli fish you've ever seen in your life. But hey, right? Mike Iconelli bass matter too, right? Sure they do, Scott Martin. I don't know why I'm talking about on the Scott Martin thing and how he does his little fish release. <sighs> Sorry, not me. You know what? I don't think I've kissed a fish yet. They're all males, but I haven't kissed one. Who needs luck, right? I do. We all do. We all need a little luck. A little luck never hurt nobody. Okay, so this bait is working. And I know I should just keep throwing it. Just keep throwing that one, Charlie. What is wrong with you? Are you a moron? Probably. 
But let's go back to this one. Dark Wolf Ultra, that's the quick. Uh, these are called Contest, I believe. Look up Lure Star Contest. You should come across these rods now. And it's not the only way they're listed, but you should come across the ones, and they're like $127 right now. And they are on sale, or they were on sale. Oh, let's try a long cast. That fish hit it seems to hit the water. Now that was a long shot. I ain't got him in yet, but... All right, we are on them. Did I already get a pick with that? I'm pretty sure I did. Whee! We just broke our streak, but I don't really care. Man, you can sure zing it out there. Dark Wolf Ultra. Won't hold enough 15 pound braid to do anything, but you can fill it plenty full enough with 10 pound braid. That was a little bitty when we are hitting this thing. All right, I'm going back to the other color just because you can see, and it may just be the area we're in. I'm gonna try it though. Our sizes went woo, way down. But yeah, this reel so far, I'm putting it, I've kind of had the lingle there, you know, in that realm of, you know, powered BFS. But man, that Dark Wolf Ultra, it ain't no joke either. It'll, it'll do what the lingle was. Oh, I thought that was a bump. I think I was actually hit bottom it's not real deep right this dam it kind of comes out then it drops again so if you can get out there and find that line where it makes that other drop because like right now i guess i could try to show you guys with my rod so like right now we're okay so there we're probably only like four feet and we're about 15 foot out from the bank so then it drops, so somewhere right out here, like right out in this area is where it makes a, a more drastic change. Like it just really slowly comes out and then it, it's not, and it's not real drastic, but it does change a little quicker and gets deeper a little quicker. So normally right there, you guys see that? I did not get a good hook set. That's a bigger bass. I did not get a good hook set, boys and girls, and he's coming right at me. That's a good one. Get I'm just kind of double set, setting that hook. That's a nice bass. Whoa. That's 15 pound. Te Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> that fish. I have not seen it yet. Hopefully it don't come off at least till I see it. Way out there. Not a great hook set, but I did have him on the big boy. Oh yeah, giant, giant. Mike Iconelli, giant jump for him now that we've seen you. Jump, jump. You wore yourself out just pulling down hard. That fish been hooked before. Come here, girl. Get over here. Let me take a look at your gigantic butt. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> look at that, hooked right where it should be. Oh, that fish is, what's going on with that fish? got red everywhere it's almost like it what is up with that you guys seen that like man you got lipstick on girl i'm gonna give you a big old kiss hopefully all that translated you guys see what i was talking about we uh come out where the line went again i cast straight across where i thought it would be out there and sure enough there was a big one like setting right on that spot that's why we throw chatterbaits and that's a lot of times why we do go ahead even though we love bfs we throw it on a uh, big big gear all right everybody hang on i just got her out of the water let's get eugene scale eugene gave me this scale sent it to me we've checked it and it is accurate so far four pounds ten ounces not far from five right beautiful largemouth bass that is a giant largemouth bass thank you again eugene for the scale and real quick mine was reading let me keep her wet i'll be right back you guys can see that 
get her wet one more time. Mine was reading way off is why I commented. I need to get a scale and Eugene sent me his. Yeah, look at that. It just stopped it. See how it does you? Eugene's hasn't done that. So let me zero it back out. Okay. Oh boy, what is that? No. See, it does stupid stuff. Let me just shut it off. Hang on, fish. I'll get you right back in the water. So this is why, and I don't know if it's just because I got a bad one or what. All right, it's zeroed out. Eugene's lets you wait. Like, it does not... Uh... Okay, so look, 4.8. It's... It just sucks. It's not a good scale. It just is, it's, I don't know. The, so far, the one Eugene gave me doesn't do what this one does. But yeah, anyway. Let's see if old girl's going to jump. Already got picks. Already did a kind of an intro thing with old girl. One more kiss. Because she is a kisser. She's wearing lipstick for today. I don't know why she's so red. Tail, everything is all red. Come on, girl. She will probably not jump. I wore her out taking pics. Just swam off. All right, guys. That was awesome. Hopefully, whew. I know. I'm going to talk real quick and then we'll end that footage. But I was out there a ways, and I'm glad I kind of had this. Is the, and I've talked about it. And I've got the other contest reel, the brother to the quick and the feeling in my cart i should go ahead and order to medium and then there's also medium heavy the powerful because i think one of those would be even or maybe touch more powerful than this rod but this fate black is an awesome chatterbait uh, rod the zillion can't go wrong with it. it's for any kind of bait uh, reel awesome reel but that little uh jackhammer imitation from aliexpress man those baits are legit they start right up come with good sharp hooks i don't know how long the hooks will last i just got them this year should last a while but we are on it okay awesome morning so far it is only i guess i didn't even talk about any of the conditions for today we got here about 5 45 sitting well yeah probably 5 45 on the water around then before six it's 7 40 now we've abandoned top water just could not get top water to just kick in so you know chatterbait see yeah, game on right crazy clouds top water should be working tried it briefly i don't even know how much of that footage you'll see again just to see if it's working here on the dam and it wasn't Right there. Oh, that little dude. You were too close to the boat. You guys see him. No, well, still ain't done. He didn't have no time to fight. Hooked him like almost right at the boat. Had him hooked good. We gonna go up. We're gonna just drift down with the wind. Nope, maybe that's a good fish. Maybe we'll just stay here and catch a giant. Oh my God. Oh. Do you see how I got sidetracked? Look how sharp that hook is. <laughs> that fish, I'm guessing, was a little bit bigger than our fish of the day. Uh, I was not ready. I was turning this. Oh my God. I was just like, okay, I was actually getting ready to just reel it in and we're going to buzz up to the other side. And I thought I felt something. I'm like, uh, man. That fish ain't going to hit again today. He saw me. He knows Bass Bonsai is back in town. He's like, oh boy. Okay, I'm out of it. Fisherman's excuses are done. We just sucked. Missed a giant bass. It was cool. You guys to see the footage. I may try to put that in slow motion to see if you guys can make out how big that fish was. Kind of just actually jumped right at us and shook. It was almost like uh, he was so close. He just shook that bait right out at us. That was cool. 
I'd rather have them do that than pull down hard and then just pop off and you don't you don't have any clue. You're like, oh god, how big was that? I like to see them. You guys comment below. Would you rather see? Do you like seeing that or does that you like? Oh, I'd rather not see that. Oh, right. I had a little bump right at the boat. But uh, me, I, I love it when they jump. If they're gonna spit, you know, if they're gonna come off, I want them to spit it out right at me, not pull down, pull, and then toop, and they're gone. You're like, oh, you know, you, it just in your back of your mind, like, how big was that bass? To where when they're doing it right there, the action plus, I, you know, I make videos is cool, but just to, even if I wasn't, just to see it, I know what it was, kind of thing. I guess the only bad thing would be if one jumped up that looked like a 10 pounder and spit it out at you. Then I may be like, oh gosh, I wouldn't, I wish I wouldn't have seen that, but that would be maybe the only kind of deal. So yeah, comment what you guys think. I have missed a big fish every time, almost every time I come out. Don't miss that grass, do I? Try one more right there. That looks like it should be game on. There we go. That is not a giant. But the old quick, doing a good job. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness. Now, that fish was hooked. All right, hang on. This is gonna be a jumper for sure. That dude's got jumper written all over him. Th thought he did, he didn't. The sun is starting to come out of the cloud. This is probably gonna get hot quick. So we may be starting to look for a showstopper sooner than later to put an end to this. Uh, I don't even know what you would call this video. Came out trying to get on top water. Top water was not happening. Well, shoot. What the heck, fish? Come on. Come on, goose. Talk to him. There we go. That fish slacked me completely. It'd be a miracle if I get that fish in. That may be a giant again. Oh, that's a nice one, though. Oh, yes. That fish, I don't know if you guys saw that, just, boom, slacked it up so quick. But I got him. Oh! He's hip good, too. Oh, yeah. He ain't going nowhere. Look at that nice chunk. That is about a two-pound bass, probably. Just choked that. Look at that bait. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome bass. Look at that shot, boys and girls. That is a nice chunk. Do you guys want to weigh it? I guess we could real quick. Hang on. Real quick with the quick rod. Let me get it wet. What would you guys guess that at? I'm going to say two pounds. I'm probably off. Which scale is this? All right, here's the scale. Keep it wet. Yeah, see that? Zeroed out. Oh, a little heavier than I thought. You guys see that? Two pounds, four ounces. So Eugene scale working. Thank you again, Eugene. I'll probably say it for the rest of this season. Two pound, four ounces, jumper, right? Two pounds and four ounces of jumping machine. Come on. The sun is out now. I gotta put some sunscreen on. You're gonna jump. You're gonna. Ah! Oh! I'm putting some sunscreen on and I'll be back. That quick rod is legit, I think. And that bait is definitely legit. Let's go. Okay, and you know what? Before I put sunscreen on, I'm gonna put an end to this video. So I don't know. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call these videos if I catch enough for another video before and after sunscreen because the sun is definitely getting ready to come out. I'm putting some sunscreen on to keep from you know burning up. But hopefully you liked this video. Chatterbait, that chatterbait in particular, that is one from AliExpress, Jackie Hama is what they're called or whatever. I shared the link before. I've got other colors coming here in the next uh, couple weeks. I'll share those links again. Got a few different new colors out. 
but the dark wolf altar if you guys don't know about that reel check it out check my videos out bass bonsai dark wolf altar and there's a fix with the magnetic brakes there's a question about the springs being in or not but everything so far has been from my experiences with it legit on the reel the rod the quick look up a lure star contest and then look for these purple lure star rods they are legit also they're yes they're expensive for aliexpress but that material they're made out of that 40 ton uh Torre or whatever blanks the that blank material is just awesome a lightweight rod i've added the handles they won't come with that style handle some of you guys may like the wood style better but for me i like i like just this that's if you know the channel you know what i like single lifestyle right i do not sell these i'm the only one that makes them some guys will make them themselves also they've copied me a little bit it's not a new uh design it is a i'm the first guy to start putting these on bfs reels 100 percent for sure i promise you that they've used the single ones on bigger reels forever the only downside to those it can if you try to push that button and cast with it like it is say there it has a possibility of engaging the clutch in mid cast which will suck for you or the beginning of the cast but anyway hopefully you like this video guys check out all this stuff you can get it all on aliexpress i'm not sponsored by anything or anyone anything to do with aliexpress other than it's an awesome place to get some awesome bass gear but bfs gear for sure there's just not much bfs gear you know in the united states available you can go to your local tackle store actually it's very nil like it's horrible the amount of stuff but aliexpress or if you uh bait finesse empire look them up that's a local guy i think he's ordering from japan aliexpress everywhere and gets it here to where if you need it like now fishing season you can get it i'm not sponsored by him either uh, uh hobie one kenobi maybe check him out if you haven't already the real test test all kinds of reels test this one all kinds of different stuff check him out and then raw fishing he's kind of like me he just uh, kind of nuts out there you know using bfs gear catching fish I'm, I'm using all kinds of gear bfs regular well not all kinds bait casting gear to catch bass and pan fish crappie whatever actually will hit the end of the line i'll catch it and have fun doing it right so get out go bass and bonsai but whatever you guys do make sure you have fun doing it check out if this video is called uh before sunscreen something in the heading there is another video called after sunscreen i know i come up with these titles i know they're not good right all right that was a horrible outro but it's an outro